Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Do you ever get tired of kind of living in this world the way it is? Tired of how society is just, it's just becoming so, such a disgusting place. And I know that we focus on sometimes maybe too much, just the the negatives to what's going on. But the, the truth remains and it, a fact. It's, it's a fact that, well, the world's just becoming a wicked place. And it's just, it's disgusting. It flat out is. You know, what once was considered conservative, and many of you probably consider yourself conservative, it's, it's not the same thing anymore. You know, we, there's constant compromise and uh, moving a little bit more to the left because we want to be socially acceptable, right? We want to be all-inclusive. And what used to be considered immoral and wrong is more and more considered okay. And it's becoming that way in our churches, everywhere. Government, the debauchery, the, the lies, the deceit, the corruption... Well, it's just getting worse and worse. This isn't a new phenomenon. It's just that we're kind of hitting a point that it's, it's just becoming a little bit more than most people can handle. At least people that have any good moral conscience. Stuff that 15, 20 years ago would have never been accepted as a conservative ideology or philosophy is now becoming more and more acceptable. Our societies, our, our whole civilization is becoming this way. Our, our communities that, you know, even many that were once very solidly, you know, biblically founded, traditional family, conservative value, cons you know, communities are becoming, well, more and more accepting of, of all of this wickedness and worldliness. And you could say that this is just a, it's a fad. It's, it's a pendulum that's swinging but I want to ask you a question. When in your lifetime have you seen the pendulum swing back to being more traditional, more conservative, more moral, more biblical? When has it happened in the last century or so? Because I can't think of a time it has. It's just continually gotten worse. And I think that it's very biblical. I think this trend, this direction is biblical. And as much as some of you may not necessarily agree with this, I think most of you would, this has become a, actually a, a very important reason why I prepare, why I push community preparedness, family preparedness, why I push people to become more self-sufficient, why I push people to, to really secede from society more and more, to say that this, this world isn't my home. I'm, I'm just passing through and I have no interest in being part of this evilness anymore. I have no interest in being part of this immorality and this corruption and this just constant woke, left, progressive agenda. I just, I don't want to be part of it and I'm going to do everything I can to, to live my life outside of it. If that is your goal or is that something that you're interested in trying to do, I'm telling you, about the only way that you can successfully do it is to be as self-sufficient as independent as possible. <clears throat> Homesteading, preparedness, community groups, kind of helping each other out, finding places that are still conservative, still moral, still traditional for the most part. I mean, sure, every place is allowed at least some in but finding as much as you can and, and getting to those places and, and working with what you have and taking a stand with your family, getting your children out of these public indoctrination centers, cutting all of this worldliness out of your lifestyle, out of your home, quit accepting things, quit you know compromising your principles, quit watering down the truth. This is something we have to do. If we don't, then really we're, we're no better off than the alternative. We're just a little bit on the lighter side of it. You know, we're, we're like liberalism light is what conservatism and what traditional morality has become anymore. In fact, they 
tell us that morality and traditions are just relative and, and they're archaic and they're, you know, all of these bad things. And you and I know in our hearts, deep down in our gut, that that's not true. That all of that is just lies. And we know who the author of lies are. I, I don't have a solution for everything. I have a lot of people constantly asking, well, what's your solution to all these problems? Well, get right with God. Just absorb the Bible as much as you can. Build a strong relationship with Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Build your family ties strong. Do the opposite of what you're told to do in this world by having a strong traditional moral family foundation. Find others that are like you. Befriend them. Build bonds with them. Support each other. Become self-sufficient. Break away from all of the worldliness as much as you possibly can. Cut the media and the entertainment and stuff out as much as you can and, and find traditional ways, old movies, old TV shows, good wholesome stuff to entertain your family. Play a board game now and then. Do things that, well, are out of the ordinary nowadays. And, like I said, take responsibility for your life and be as self-sufficient as possible. If you do these things, it's not going to fix everything, of course, but it's going to definitely put you on a better track than what the rest of the world is. We have to, we have to do something, folks. We're losing the battle. We know we're going to. We're going to lose the battles here on this earth. I mean, it's foretold in the Bible. We don't lose the war, but we're certainly going to lose a lot of battles along the way. And we have to prepare for that. Just as much as you're preparing for economic collapse, or you're preparing for a cyber attack, or you're preparing for World War III, or the food chain to, chain to go down, or inflation to continue to go up, and all of that kind of stuff. We prepare for it in the same way. But this really is even more important because it's, it's your soul that you're preparing for. It's the soul of your family and your community. That's far more important than how many buckets of rice and beans or cases of ammo that you have tucked away. We need to be doing this stuff because, like I said, it, there's way more going on than all of this, you know, surface level really stuff like economy and war and all that there, there's a whole lot more going on folks and it's evilness it just flat out is like i said it's in our communities small communities even rural communities it's in schools it's in the churches it's it's all over the place it doesn't mean it's in every one of them but it is all over the place and we've got to not let it take hold in our lives in our families you got to be strong men you got to be leaders, moral, biblical leaders of your home. Women, you've got to be moral, biblical mothers and wives. We've got to bring back decency and morality, modesty, all of that kind of stuff. We've got to bring it back into our homes and raise our children the way that God meant us to raise them and not the way the world tells us to raise them and the, the, the psychologists and all of that kind of stuff. Don't, don't listen to that stuff. Listen to your heart, listen to the Bible, because that's where you're going to find the truths. There's a lot going on, and I think there's a whole lot more ahead of us. We've got to get prepared for it, folks, because it's not going to be good when it all starts really falling apart. I mean, it's getting unraveled at this point. But when it really starts kind of losing hold and falling apart, I'm afraid it's going to be kind of, kind of ugly and not just in a chaotic way, but ugly in a, just an evil, moral, immoral way. We need to be prepared for that, folks. Get your houses in order. Prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.